soon we uh, are this going to allow show. for persons who are coming to these shores uh, both as tourists and as uh, visitors who have uh, the dual vaccines or in the case of the um, Johnson & Johnson single dose vaccine once they have a completed dosage of the vaccines that they are going to be allowed uh, to carry on without the need for uh, quarantine in the sense of they're not going to be required to spend an additional seven days in quarantine. What will happen for persons who are going into the local population is that they will be asked to quarantine in their own homes for approximately 48 hours, which would give the medical authorities sufficient time to be able to uh, validate whether or not they are, in fact, uh, have uh, COVID or actually transmitting the virus. So upon arrival, at the VC Bird International this Airport or any port of entry. They will be swabbed immediately upon their arrival. And it's a swab that they will have to pay for, um, that test. But within 48 hours, the clinical services at the laboratory will give an indication as to whether or not they actually have COVID, yeah or nay. And the reason for this additional layer, in as much as we're relaxing uh, consideration for the um, arrival of persons with the completed vaccine profile, is that there still exists a possibility that there could be variations of the virus that we would want to ensure um, that we uh, are protecting the home population from any potential in, in invasion of, of uh, one of these variants. Notwithstanding that, the clinical and laboratory services head has indicated that uh, they are actually moving now towards ensuring that they can also do um, those additional tests that will allow them to be able to detect variants to the COVID vaccine. This is an important development, and it is going to be an important development for, to be able to communicate that to um, our major markets, because the British um, government is actually concerned about the um, proliferation of other variants across the globe. So the fact that we are going to be able to develop that capability and to be able to boast that capability will be a fillip to the attractiveness of Antigua as a tourism destination.